Here, we're going to cover how we can get a chat agent executor to respond in a specific format. And so this is often useful when you know that you want your agent to respond in a specific format and you want to enforce that via function calling. And so we're going to cover how to do that here. This is building off of the base chat agent executor notebook. So if you haven't already gone and looked at that notebook, please do that before you get started. Because in this notebook, we're just going to cover the things that are different. So we're going to start by creating the, the tool and then creating the tool executor. This is all the same as before. We're going to create the model. This is the same as before. But now we have this modification to it. So what we're doing is Previously, we just binded only the tools that it could call as functions to the model. But now we also want to bind this other function definition to the model. And this is the response um, schema that we want the, the agent to respond in. So here we're making one up. We're going to say we want it to respond with a temperature and then other notes, which is a string. Um, and so what we're going to do is first we create functions which are from the tools. So this takes in the tools and it converts them to OpenAI function calling. Then we're also adding in this response schema. And so this response schema is this converted to OpenAI function calling, and we're binding that as functions to the model. Now the rest of it uh, uh, here, we're defining the agent state. That's the same as before. And now we're defining the nodes, and there's some differences here. So first, in the should continue state. So previously, this is, so this is the same as before right here. If there is no function call in the last message, then we want to end. If there is a function call and the function call name is response, then we also want to end. And then if there is a function call and the function call name is not response, then we continue. Um, and other than that, the other two nodes are the same. Um, so we'll define this graph. The graph is the same as before. And now we can use it. So here, let's uh, call it. We can start to see some responses stream back. We get back uh, an AI message first, which calls this function. We get back uh, the function message, which has a result. We get back another AI message, which calls this function, but this function is response. And so he, then we end. Um, and so this is, this is slightly different from previously. Previously, the response was in content, which was great. It's a string. Here we have a structured response, and it still ends. And so if we take a look at what's going on under the hood in Langsmith, we can see that we have a call to OpenAI, this to Village Search, and then a call to Chat OpenAI. If we click on here, we can see that we ha now have two functions in tools. We have this to Village Search results JSON, um, which it's using as a tool, but then we also have this response, which it's using to respond to the user. So this is how you can use an agent executor in LangGraph to respond in a specific format um, with an agent call.